Hey guys, so today we're gonna take a look at this exhaust system I have on the CX500 Cafe Racer. Um, so if you're new here, this is a 1986 500 Custom. I got it all original stock, really a clunker. It was, it was definitely a fixer upper for sure. Um, got it for $580 and I built it into what it is today. So we're gonna take a look at the exhaust system. This is actually the stock exhaust system that I modified into what it is now. It sounds so good outdoors. I've basically only heard it indoors and outdoors one time, but it sounds so good outdoors. All right, so without further ado, let's start this thing up and see how it sounds. How's it sound? Sounds really good. Thanks. I built it myself. All right, so here is the exhaust system on the CX500. As I said, it is stock. It basically had an X, I think they call it an X pipe or H pipe, basically had the emissions control unit underneath there. And I basically cut that all out. Um, I cut the pipes off right here. Um, the X pipe just kind of slid off the end. And so I was left with these pipes here. So what I did, so I bought some MGO, I think these are MGO mufflers on Amazon. I'll link them in the description if you wanna check out that same kind of muffler. It sounds really good in my opinion. And basically I attached the muffler onto the stock pipe here. Um, and I, of course, I wrapped it in titanium exhaust wrap. And as you can see on the other side, it is the exact same. And the cool thing I really like about this system is that it's all stock and there were no modifications. I didn't have to bolt anything onto the frame, no bolt like necessary at all. I basically just clamp it up there and that holds it in place and it hasn't moved. So I'm really happy with it. And as you can see, there is clearance for everything. It's not touching anywhere. Um, on the other side, it's a little bit different, but very similar. Um, not touching at all, but the only thing is the brake pedal touches just ever so slightly against it. Not a big deal, but everywhere else there is tons of clearance. So anyway, that's the exhaust system. Um, I'm going to go on the first ride right now and let's bring you along. That, see how it sounds on the bike. Not bad. Not bad. It's not overheating or anything. Yeah, this feels nice. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the exhaust system on my 1980 Honda CX500 Custom. Cafe Racer build. I think it sounds so, so good. Outdoors, it is a beautiful sound. <laughs> Indoors, every time I started up in the shop, it would be so stupid loud that I was like, this, this won't sound good. I'm gonna get like 10 tickets everywhere I go. Um, but outdoors, it actually sounds really good. It's a little quieter, a little bit more subtle than those stupid Harleys. I'm messing with you. Um, but it is a little bit quieter. It doesn't blow your ears out. Um, but it does have that really beefy, really powerful kind of sound. I'm so satisfied with it, and I think this build turned out super, super well. So in an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you guys how much it cost me, do a total breakdown of how much it cost me to do this build, um, and it's gonna be exciting stuff. I'm actually kind of curious to see how much I spend too. I think it's right around a thousand, low thousand dollar range, um, but we'll break that down, we'll see how much it costs. But that's coming up in the future. I have a couple more videos before that one, I think. 
but I think that's pretty much it. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. About to go on the first ride, baby. This is gonna be epic.